So I thought I'd do a little follow-up on my analysis on SMTP servers in Mailgun. So um, we started, uh, or last time I left off with my contact here that's called Mail Genius, where I'm testing by sending emails to uh, Mail Genius, a service. You know, you can find that at uh, mailgenius.com. Uh, that service actually determines um, a score. So what I do every time I send an email, I take notes and I actually keep my my uh, score so that I know how I develop and then I can go back and test things. When you go to Mail Genius, what it does, it gives you a test email and that test email you copy and you go to compliantly and you stick it in the email address and then you click save and now you have that email address. And what you do then is you grab the email here, which is just an email that I copied uh, from somewhere. And I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go to email and I'm just going to send email with the title, hey there. So when I send this email, it um, it goes to Mail Genius, and you see here it's 9:22 p.m. And um, what happens is when you then go to the tool where you just got the email and you click on see your score, it takes a little bit, but then it gives you the score. What you see here is I have a failing D mark, which is something that I uh, showed you last time. And the reason for that failing D mark is that when I send an email. And show you this here. The email standard comes from jhopshot at icloud.com. But what I am sending when I go to general settings in here, SMT and Mailgun, I'm sending from replies.reputationjudge.com. Now, what I want to show you is number one, how this improves. I'm at 93 if I send with the wrong from address. You see here, my email from is jhopshot at icloud.com. And uh, this is 84. Today is 8-9, so that's the wrong score. Let's see where the right one is. Here, 8-9. Okay, so you see here that comes from jhopshite at icloud.com. So let me show you the same email sent from a different from email. So I'm going back here, and I'm going to ask for a new test again. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to back here. I'm going to go to my contact list. I'm going to grab my mail genius. I'm going to add that new test email in here, click on save, then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna grab that last email here. And copy it, paste it in here. And now the subject line is hey, there. And now what I'm gonna do, set up at icloud.com, I'm gonna send at replies dot yeah, it's replies.reputationjudge.com. Okay. Now, the reason I sent from this is because I just showed you that is my Mailgun domain. And when I send from this email address, my from address and my ascending domain actually jives. So when I click send here, that email goes out. Let's go over here and click on see your score. Now you're gonna see uh, 15 to, 20 to 30 seconds until it actually has the email and sometimes it takes a little bit. So let's wait that out. So there we are after waiting it out, you see eight, nine here. So right there, eight, nine. So that's today's email. Hi there, and it comes from jhopshot at replies.reputationjudge.com. So that's that single change here. Just going from the jhopshot at icloud.com to jhopshot at replies.reputationjudge.com, got my mail genius score green. See that? So that's one important thing that you need to know. Your sender domain and your from address need to match. How you do that is something that I can show you in another video. So let's go to email preview here and let's go to raw email. And what you see is that this email comes from an IP address. You see here, this is an X mail gun sending IP. Let's see what score that IP address has. So let's grab that, copy that, and then let's go over to senderscore.com. So here we are at senderscore.com, and you see I've tested an IP address, and that IP address actually has a reputation or a sender score of 97 out of 100. So that's pretty good. You know, it gives you a couple of stats, what happened, 
on that IP address, but that IP address is actually um, has a pretty good sender score. Um, Mailgun manages the sender score, so um, you should always have somebody that looks at it. That's let's take the IP address that we just looked at, where this email came from. It's that IP address. So let's see what score that has. So the score of that one is a little bit worse. It's still green. It's 85, and it is managed. What you see, it hasn't hit a spam trap. But what what you see here is that you're basically at that point in time you are dependent on what IP address you are on. So I'm back at um, my uh, Mail Genius score of 97. Let's look at the uh, uh, last uh, score and let's see at what IP address we were on there. It was the same IP address. Let's look at another one here. It was the same IP address. Let's go and look here and you see here, this is a different IP address. In four emails, I have three times the same and I have one time a different IP address. And let's look at the one over here. That's also this IP address. So what you see is in five emails I've sent from two different IP addresses. And, and, and it doesn't necessarily mean when you're on a dynamic Elegant server that you're going from two IP addresses, you can go from a lot. So that is where your own IP address comes in when you talk about deliverability. Deliverability and sender score are important. You can check it at senderscore.com. Depending on how reliable you need it, uh, you can get your own IP address and then you are responsible for your own sender score. And uh, that sender score can actually be pretty good or it can be non-existent. I'm gonna show you a sender score that's non-existent because I simply don't send enough email from it. So I went and I grabbed my own IP address. And we're still here with a Mailgun IP address. Now my own IP address exists because I built my own SMTP server. You know, if I send a large amount of emails, I use it from that server, but that server isn't used a lot. So there may be a couple of hundred thousand emails uh, sent from it, but uh, compared to this, Mailgun IP, it's nothing. And so when I copy my IP address in here that I manage where I have my own SMTP server on, and then I click on get my score, you see that there is not enough sender info on this IP to give me a score. And that just plainly means that my IP address is not warm enough. Meaning that ultimately, if somebody or if a receiver relies on sender score, I'm actually going to be penalized for it because I don't have a sender score. Now, what I can do is I can send emails regularly through that SMTP, and then I will get a sender score. And if you do it right, then, of course, you know, you're going to be in the green. If you do it wrong, of course, then you're going to be a spammer. So this is one thing that you need to understand when you manage your uh, email sending or email marketing on how to actually manage your own IP address and how to get good at judging if your email will go into the spam folder or if it goes into the inbox.